Hi, my name is Yannicka from Yannicka Pearl and this video will make you wings. I really wanted to use this shimmering and sparkly fabric. I found this nice fabric, but it's awfully slippery and hard to work with. So I had to find a way to use it on my quilt without distortion. I found this trick that I am sharing with you now. I think it could be used to make amazing butterfly wings, for instance. The key here is to use a see-through material because it allows you to follow the pattern underneath the fabric with your sewing machine. The fabric I used is so transparent that I could double it for a great texture and still see the pattern through it. Once the fabric is in place, the next step is to pin it to the paper with the pin set far away from the wing's head so you don't have to remove them as you sew. This kind of fabric is very slippery so it must really be secure in place before you start. I just printed the pattern on regular printer paper of average quality. There is no need for any special or fancy paper. Sewing first on the paper will stabilize the fabric as you follow the wing's edge with a zigzag stitch and it's easy to remove later. For this project I used a satin stitch on my Baby Lock Soprano set at 3.5 mm wide and 0.2 or 0.3 mm interval. For the curves, go slowly, sew a few stitches at a time, then turn the paper and sew a few more stitches and so on. This will make the edge more round and provide better results. When you get to the fairy's arm edge, do a few stitch, stop, pull the fabric and start again just a few stitch before the line. We don't want too much thickness under the fairy's arm, but it will ensure you have a continuous line. It's better to have a few extra stitches on each side so you don't end up short when you applique the fairy's body on the wings. When you are done, remove the pins, then carefully remove the paper while holding your stitches with your finger to avoid ripping your work. Go slowly because it's easy to introduce deformation and it would be sad to have to do it all over again. There will be paper left in your zigzag stitch but don't worry about it, it's really not a problem and it won't affect your applique. When ready to applique the wings, make sure again to securely pin the fabric to your quilt top. On this example, I decided to quilt a fairy on this breathtaking calf facet fabric. Now the last step is to applique the wing into the quilt background by sewing a simple straight stitch right in the middle of the zigzag stitch. You might be wondering why I am sewing the wings before cutting the excess fabric. The reason is that it gives the wings extra stability during sewing and the more stability you have, the less likely you will find yourself swearing a lot, if I do say so myself. You can now cut the excess fabric outside the wing's edge with scissors as close as possible. And if a few fibers remain on the edge, you can use snippers to finish the job. Now you are ready to applique the fairy's body in place on top of the wings using your regular applique technique. And you're done! Let me know what you think below and don't hesitate to ask any question. You can find this pattern and many more on my website at yannickaquilt.com.